Hi guys, how are you today? Lots and lots to talk about in the world of housewives. We're going to talk about Luann saying that there's going to be a major cast shakeup on the Real Housewives of New York. And then we're going to start out talking about the lovable Teddy. Okay, so listen. Oh, Teddy, 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 Teddy. Okay, Miss Mellencamp, you really confuse me a lot. I mean, I just don't know what to say about this next story. Okay, so we all know if you've been watching The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills for the last two seasons, ever since Teddy signed that contract with that devil that they that goes by the nickname Lisa Renna, okay, no shade, I'm just saying, you know, I'm, I don't mean devil in a mean way, it's a positive thing. Ever since she made that contract with the, signed that contract with the devil to be a mean girl, she's been the villain of the show, one of the villains. And I thought because she signed the contract that she was okay with it. You know your role. Your role is to piss people off. Your role, role is to make people quit, you know, like LVP. Your role is to uh, send people home crying like you did Denise. And your role is to be the villain. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, not just you, any villain out there mostly gets hate mail, negative comments on their postings, on their social media. I would say this would be the first time that a villain wants positive affirmation, loving postings, <laughs> loving email. Teddy, come on. You've been on the show long enough. You know it doesn't work that way. I mean, it does not work that way. But, you know, according to Teddy, She's tired of the backlash. She's tired of the negative comments. She can't take it anymore, even though she knows she's a villain in the show. Oh, I, you want positive comments? I mean, uh, oh, okay. I mean, I guess I can think of something nice. I mean, in the meantime, let's go ahead and look at this video that she put out. Kind of like yeah. bashing the fans, if you ask me. Let's go into what she said. Hey guys, I just wanted to uh, record a quick message here for a second. So I'm sure some of you've noticed that I had to delete um, commenting off my last post. And there's something I wanted to say about that. I have always loved doing Real Housewives, the good, the bad, and the ugly, because I know it's an escape for so many people watching. I know when I watch Potomac, I am laughing, I am loving it, I'm taking my favorites, all of those things that you're supposed to do on these television shows. But what's happening right now is taking it to the next level. I had so many comments on my last post saying they wish I was dead, wishing harmful things on my children. And that's really where, like, enough is enough. You guys tune in for drama and enjoy the drama, but coming after people you do not know and wishing they died has got to stop. Oh, well, uh, uh, okay, you only want positive comments now, even though you make people quit the show? I mean, Teddy, I thought the obvious is shouldn't you expect negative comments? Is people going too far when they say they want you to die and talk about your children? Yes, but this is social media. People could hide behind a computer and say whatever they want and they get ruthless. And it's not fun. It's not easy, but surely you have to expect it. But now you're demanding that you want to be a villain with positive postings and emails. <laughs> I mean, okay, I guess I'll give you your wish. What's something I can say nice about Teddy? Teddy, I really love that zit that you had on your chin. I mean, that's about as nice as I can get. I mean, you guys, we got to stop being so mean to Teddy. We're pushing her over the edge. We're going too far. It's time that we give her positivity. Now, I don't know what she wants us to say, you know, as she displays this terrible, horrible behavior, but... I guess we have to lie and make up something because she's not taking it anymore, people. She made a video and she was serious. She was not playing with us. Stop it with the mean posting. Okay, I got you. Calm down. You know, calm down. I mean, 
she, do, are you asking the same of your leader, Lisa Renna, too? I mean, please, you just laid it all out on the line for us. You said, I know, I'm, you know, I get into the shows too. I understand how it is to pick your favorites. I do it with Potomac. Well, then, should you understand? But I guess not. We have some kind of, you know, conflict going on here. Okay, Teddy, I'm asking all of my followers, please, please, please do not leave mean comments in Teddy's social media okay because it's too much and you guys are getting too mean and i guess we'll just hold our tongue you know when she you know reduces people to tears is that what you want to hear teddy is that better okay now let's move on let's move on to luann de la Sess, the countess you know a lot has changed for luann over the years do you guys remember when she first started out she was the countess and you know now she's a commoner that goes to jail every couple months. No, not every couple months. Bad joke, I'm just joking. She has changed a lot. She has really reverted back to being a commoner. And she had no choice. The divorce was not her doing. It was her husband's and, you know, cause he cheated on her with the Ethiopian girl. And then um, Tom, Tom, Tom was just, I mean, I don't even know why they got married to begin with. So, you know, she has a lot going on. She's a commoner now. This, this is what regular people deal with. We deal with bills. You know, remember when she tried to borrow $6 million from Bethany Frankel? What else do us commoners deal with? We deal with failed relationships. We also deal with drinking problems, okay? It's not unusual. There's so I there's a so many people, everyone in every family has someone that doesn't know when to put down the bottle. And up until now, I was thinking that's Luann. You know, she just doesn't know when to put the bottle down. She, but she re went to rehab, cleaned herself up, and now she's saying that she's drinking again. But she only drinking now because she knows how to control it. I will say, I don't know if that's a true or false statement. I will say you're the only person that I heard of that has a drinking problem that can control it. Luann, Luann, Luann. Does this make sense? It does not make sense. Listen, I like you a bunch, but I worry about you. You better start going to your meetings again. You better talk to, what do they call a life coach? Somebody, this is not a good decision, okay? Think about it. When you see uh, Leah drunk as a skunk on the screen, it's not a good look. We don't want you falling in the bushes again. I think you're only fooling yourself. And I sang this out of love. Look, yeah, you got it. you can't. You can't drink. What's wrong with ordering a club soda? You know, it'll be one drink here, then two drinks there, then four drinks here. And then next thing you know, that's how it happens, Lou. I'm very, very worried for you. But that's not what this video is about. This video is about her giving an interview in which she said that there are going to be major cast shakeups on the Real Housewives of New York. But we didn't hear it from her. We didn't hear it from you. You were the only one on camera. Okay, well, you, you weren't, what? Oh, okay, listen, this is a good thing. I think that the ratings are down for a reason. The reason is we're tired of your storylines, okay? Clean up, dr drinking again, clean up, drinking it, it, it. It's wearing me out. How many times can we see Ramona roam the streets of New York late at night looking for a companion? We've seen these storylines over and over again. You know what I think people, I think the entire cast should go. The only people they should keep would be Dorinda. And I love it when Dorinda gets drunk. I don't know what it is. I love Dorinda. They should keep Dorinda and Leah. Everyone else, they should consider a do-over. Andy Cohen should get on his knees, beg and plead for Bethany Frankel to come back, and then build the cast around those three. But the rest of the cast, I just, how many times could we see Sonia get drunk and dance? It's, just, it's been over 10 years of the same thing. So I think this is a good idea. I mean, you probably shouldn't have said it. You probably broke some kind of NDA clause by letting us know. Or maybe you think you're the one in danger. I don't know what made Luann go on national television and tell us that there's going to be cash shakeups. And but we didn't hear it from her. <laughs> Usually that comes in an anonymous letter or something like that. We didn't hear it from you, but it came from your lips. I mean, really? Well, yeah, no, 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 no. We definitely heard it from you. This is a good thing. I mean, the rumor is 
been around for a long time that the next person to go off that cast would be Ramona um, because she's the highest paid. Let's hope Bravo keeps their promise. I mean, I love you, Ramona. I think you're amazing. You're great. You're fun, funny at times, but I've seen your storyline over and over, over past a decade. Same for you, Luann. You know, it was cool watching you be the countess and even seeing you go through normal people problems. But now how many times do we have to see you go through normal people problems? You know, I love you, but you know, you might need a year or two off. I'm not gonna say fire her. I'm just say, gonna say, you know, just lay her off for a year or two. That's my opinion. But as I said, every video, we all have our different opinions. And that just happens to be mine. So what do you guys think about Teddy, the villain of the show, wanting us to give her positive, cozy, loving postings in her social media? Are you down with it or are you not? Also, is Luann walking into dangerous territory by saying she can control her drink and she knows how to do it now? If you, and it's a serious question. If you know some people that can do it, let me know. Um, if you like this video, Go ahead and click that like button. It does wonders for my video. If you haven't already subscribed and hit the notification bell, go ahead and do that. And I'll meet you guys in the comments section so we can have an adult conversation. Until next time, talk to you then. Bye for now.